Welcome to Story Time with Teacher Maddie. Today's book is What to Do If an Elephant Stands on Your Foot. What to do if an elephant stands on your foot. Well, if an elephant stands on your foot, keep calm. Panicking will only startle it. Yeah! Oh, never mind. These things happen. In the events of startling an elephant, you probably feel like running away rather quickly. Try not to. Running away may attract tigers. Uh, told you so. Shh. Once a tiger has spotted you, you must stay silent. The slightest sound, such as a sneeze. At you! Oh dear, as I was saying, make the slightest sound and the rhino will hear you. And if the rhino has heard you, whatever you do, do not be tempted to climb up a tree. Oh, for goodness sake. Go ahead then, if you must. But don't say I didn't warn you. See? Snakes live in trees, and they do not take kindly to visitors. Having yourself in a snake's tree, take a few deep breaths and steady yourself. And yeah, that's it. All right. Now, sit tight and try not to make any sudden movements. I like that one, you ninny. Ah, sudden movements do not go unnoticed by crocodiles. Everyone knows that. Honestly, you're hopeless. If you've been noticed by a crocodile, dial, don't expect me to help you. Please. All right, then. Since you asked so nicely, wave your arms around and shout for help. Is it working? Yes. Okay, here come the monkeys. Of course, now that the monkeys have arrived, there's only one thing to do. Go nuts! Jump up and down! Run all around and around! Sing! Shout! Dance! Sing! Have a banana. And finally, before you return to your nice, safe home, remember your manners. Thank the monkeys for rescuing you. And don't forget to apologize to the elephant. Just be careful not to... Uh-oh. What do you think is going to happen? Really? Really? Hey, sorry! Startle it. <coughs> the end. Now you know what to do if an elephant stands on your foot. <laughs>